Alright guys, what is going on? We're back with some more Call Universe mode. And this is the first ever episode of Fight Night. Oh, uh, we've got great show for you tonight. Uh, hopefully, hopefully you guys do enjoy. Our first match is Ryan Kelly versus Andre Hernandez. And uh, this one should be good. Uh, this is Ryan Kelly's second match here in... Uh, FPSG on Hernandez, like I said, has been here for since the beginning. So, yeah. I like this arena. I'm just saying. I really do. I think it might be better than uh, our regular show. But I really don't want to say that, so, uh, yeah. Alright, here we go. We're wait we are waiting for Ryan Kelly to come up to the ring and we can start this matchup. Which, as you know, in our main event, as I said on the last show, uh, that we had already the matches made and we're going to have the club going one on one with the Republic because, as you know, the, the club wanted to get their title shot, but Coley uh, gets his match at the pay per view, so. The clubs are going to have to wait on their title shot, and Power and Glory did go ahead and uh, ask for their rematch since they had their rematch closed. So, we're pretty much all booked for the pay-per-view. Actually, this is probably the quickest booking we've had, uh, so it's pretty exciting. But uh, look at Ryan Kelly going over the snap mare into a headlock, and there's a big knee right to the back. Goes into a car and up a tie. Looks like Andre Hernandez backing him up into the corner. Referee. Of course, you're going to have to get in there and break this one up. Who's going to get the cheap shot? Looks like it's going to be Andre Hernandez. And they go back to another collar and elbow tie up. And Andre Hernandez takes to the arm. Gets it into like a chicken wing hook. Uh, and takes him right down by sweeping the leg. Oh, back to another car and elbow tie. A lot of chain wrestling to start this matchup. And he still has the headlock, okay? Oh, look at that one. Ryan Kelly fights out of it, gets his own headlock of his own, and still goes back to another move with the arm. And Andre Hernandez turns it around, and he's got the arm now. Break in the hole, finally. And then Ryan Kelly takes him down with an arm drag into a drop kick. Now look at this. This move always looks like it hurts. Like, you know one of the moves that just looks like you could break your leg? That move looks like it's going to break your fucking leg. Uh, here we go. Andre Hernandez fights back up. And he gets caught with a punch of the head. And then look at this. Backbreaker. Just, jeez. Not letting up is Ryan Kelly, and then Andre Hernandez finally gets a reversal back in this matchup. Let's see if he can get a big move. Stay in this matchup, and God, the knee right to the face was nasty as hell looking. Holy crap. But Ryan Kelly turns him around and goes for another backbreaker. Turns him over, and there they stomp to the back. Oh, look at the reversal from Andre Hernandez. Oh, arm breaker. And pulls him into the middle of the ring. Look at this side slam. Oh, God, what a reversal. That was an epic. And now look at these suplex. He flipped out of that one, guys. That was pretty good. All right, here we go. He picks Andre Hernandez up. And twist of fate. Flashback move to the Hardys. Now here we go, he's going to drag Hernandez into the middle of the ring. Here's the pin. One, two, and Andre Hernandez kicks out. 
Look at that. Aggressively goes, pitches, grabs the shoulder, goes right into the elbows. You know, he turns Hernandez over. Look at the gator roll. Into the uh, hold and just shoves him right down to the mat. You know, has him back up. Let's see what he can do for here. He's going to get him. And, oh my god, the DDT. Now there's the stomp. What is this? Showing off. Looks like he's going to go for a knee drop and just kicks the face. Okay. Showing off there. As now he picks on her and then he's back up. Now here we go. There is that pack breaker or neck breaker or whatever. That's just nasty looking. Now here's the pin one, two, and Andre Hernandez kicks out, stays in this matchup. He just took the finisher and still kicked out. I mean, lately we've been seeing another side of Andre Hernandez. He's been more aggressive, trying to stay in matches, pick up victories. And I don't blame him because we've got a lot of new superstars. As he just took a freaking forearm there. But we've got a lot of new superstars and his spot could go up at any moment. So he's got to fight for what he's got here in FPSG. As there's an Irish whip, but Arno Hernandez traverses and then just gets caught with a spin kick. Then gets turned around. Man, look at this. Another backbreaker. Three of those moves. Damn. It's now he goes to the top rope. What kind of high risk move are we going to see here? And is it going to pay off? And look at that elbow drop. He, he kind of flew and then turned around and hit the elbow drop. And now Andre Hernandez is back up to his feet and gets caught with that leg drop. Alright, here we go. Ryan Kelly back up to his feet. Setting up for the finisher. Could it be over? Here we go. Got him up on top for that neck breaker again. Back breaker? I don't even know. One, two, three. Ryan Kelly wins, picks up the victory, and uh, in the comments below, the owner of Ryan Kelly's called. Do you have a name for that finisher? Is that is this nasty looking? We need, we need a name for it, so we could call the name for it instead of me trying to say it's neck breaker or back breaker. I don't know, probably be a lot better, but uh, Ryan Kelly picks up the victory. Andre Hernandez takes another loss again. I mean, the last win he's had it was a long time ago, I feel like. Uh, this man's got to pick up some victories, like I said. This roster's growing. Like I said, we've grown to two shows now. Uh, he's got to he's gotta try to pick up victories as much as he can. But he, he doesn't. Uh, he puts on great matches, but he can't pull out the victory. Uh, Ryan Kelly does, though, and one of the really good matches. So, great way to start off uh, Fight Night, our first ever edition of Fight Night. As we get ready for our main event, what is it? Andre Hernandez is pissed off. Look at, look at this. Ryan Kelly still showing off in the ring. He's got his victory. Look at Andre Hernandez make his way to the ring. There's an uppercut. There's a big boot. What in the hell? Andre Hernandez has just gone off here. Look at the neck breaker there. Now what is? I mean, what has gotten into this man? He turns Ryan Kelly over. Here he goes, time for that shining wizard, and just knocks him out after that hard-fought victory. And now look at this, showing off, knows what he's done, and I don't know what's what's happened to uh, Andre Hernandez, but we gotta get to our next matchup. Here we go. That was it, crazy. Uh, maybe we can get a word from Andre Hernandez next week, but right now we've got our world champ, our world. Uh, now, our, our World Tag Teams in a match, this is not a championship match. Um, like I said in the beginning, the club wanted this, the club wanted this match, but they've got their six-man match with Cole Lee and his team at the pay-per-view, um, and it, so they can't get their tag team opportunity, so they're going to wait another month, but uh, the champions are fighting champions. They do put they did put the title on the line of the review, but it's against the former champions power and glory. So even though we couldn't have them in a tag team match at the review, we're gonna have them in a tag team match here. In the main event of Fight Night, let's see 
who is better who would have the championship after uh, the pay-per-view so let's see it's always gonna be good it's gonna be a good match we got Antonio Payne and Jory Nice the, the heavy hitter of the club and the hardcore uh, maniac of the club in Jory Nice and of course the club the leader of the club is Rob Havoc the guy with our world championship and then new the newest member is uh, Caleb Sparks so. but there's your champions Hugh Allen Curtis Allen of the Republic All right, here we go. Ow, man, heard that big bang. Yeah, I just fucking hit my hand, but uh, bell's been rung. Here we go. Antonio Payne and Curtis Allen are in the ring first, and Antonio Payne just drops him with a backbreaker. Now going after the knee as he picks Curtis Allen back up to his feet. Gonna get Irish whipped into the turnbuckles, bounces off, gets caught into a German suplex. The strength of Curtis Allen to pick up Big Man and Antonio Payne, as now he's gonna take him for a capture suplex. Man, showing his strength here tonight. Now he's gonna tag in the Big Man. All oh, that probably knocked him out for a little bit because that was insane. And now look at this. Out of nowhere, Antonio Payne takes him down. And then there's a kick to the back. Kick to the back again. All right, here we go. Huge Allen trying to get back up to his feet and takes him down with a shoulder tackle. As now he picks Antonio ba Antonio Payne back up. Keep saying Bane like off a of Superman or some shit. But uh, here we go. He flips Huge Allen over, takes him down with a punch like right to the top of the head, and then there's a knee drop. Here we go. Huge Allen making. Oh, God. That punch to the back. Goes him right into the ring post. And now look at that shoulder first. And now, while he's down, he's taking him down with the stomps. Gonna pick him up. And Huge Allen gets pissed, shoves him off, but then comes back. And no, he reverses the backbreaker. Great job to get out of that one there. As uh, the big men are in the ring here, this is gonna be crazy destruction. It's looking like it takes him over with the slam. Now it looks like he's going to go tagging his partner, Curtis Allen. He's took enough beating in this matchup so far. We've not seen Jory Nice yet. It's been all Antonio Payne so far. Look at this Curtis Allen getting out of the move there. Smart reversal. Elbows to the side of the head. But just gets taken down with a belly-to-belly -belly suplex. That's now it looks like Antonio Payne is going to go tagging his tag team partner and Jory Nice. Smart move. you got to save your energy. No reason to come out here and fight the whole match so far. Let's look at Jordan East Coast right after the kicks. He knows he's outsized here, but he knows he can take him down by kicking him. And oh my god! He had strength there. That was good showing his strength. He lifts him up in the air and takes him down with a knee. He doesn't get him very high in the air, but he does get him in there. But here's a count one, two, and Curtis Allen kicks out. Here we go. Oh. Takes him down. Oh my god. Look at the head scissors take down. That was pretty good. Look at this. He's not even scared. Right in front of Huge Allen. With an elbow drop. Like. That's one thing I would be scared of. Because he's right there. And the dude's huge as hell. He could take it down with one shot. And now look at the knee into the neck breaker. As now he goes for the pin. Let's see if count. One. Two. And he kicks out anyway. And then Antonio Payne drops Huge Allen with a freaking uh, German suplex. Like, that was nasty as hell. Man. But Jory Nice and Curtis Allen are still the legal men in this matchup. So the match is still going. 
as uh, Jordan East takes him in for that suplex. That was a beautiful looking suplex there. As uh, he picks Curtis Allen back up. Well, no, she just kind of loosens him up slightly. What is this going to be? Look at that freaking head scissors move. That was a uh, scissors kick. That was pretty crazy. And Curtis Allen finally fights out of something. And he just going to German suplex the shit out of Jordan East there. Knocks him out cold, it looks like. Looks like he's going to tag in Hugh Allen, but Jordan East gets back up. And he's going to take him with a double-armed hook suplex of his own. And now he's got plenty of space to go tag in Hugh Allen. Let's see if Jordan East does a smart thing and tag in Antonio Payne. He does it and gets caught with a nasty-looking German suplex. Dumps him on his head. It's outsized here big time. Uh, he's getting taken out pretty well here. He's just got caught with a nasty looking kick to the back of the head. But look at this Jordan East with a knee lift. He reverses it. He's got enough separation to go tag in Antonio Payton. And that's just what he does. Smart move there. Here we go. The big men are back in the match. He's going to Irish whip him out of the ring. Antonio Payton holds on and just gets just punched right out of the ring like fuck you. And this is a bad move from uh, Hugh Allen. He knows Jordan is out there. He could get double teamed at any moment. And instead, he stays out there. So, I don't know what his plan is. Oh, God. Look at the freaking Irish whip right into the stairs. Now he picks Antonio Payne back up. Gets him into a headlock. Throws him right into the stairs again. And at this point, Jordan East, I don't know if he's just tired. Or something, but or he just knows that Antonio Payne can take a hit. Here we go, Antonio Payne back into the ring as well as Hugh Allen. As this another capture suplex, and God, the strength of this man is insane. He just launched like a nearly seven foot tall wrestler, and Antonio Payne with a suplex, and he goes for the pin, and Antonio Payne kicks out. But that's insane, and the strength of Antonio Payne is there as well because he's not quite seven foot, but uh. Huge Allen is, and he is caught with another German suplex. Holds the lock in, goes for a second German suplex. Still has the lock in, and there is a third German suplex. As he pulls Antonio Payne into the middle of the ring, turns him over, goes for the pin. Here's the count one, two, and Antonio Payne kicks out. What a matchup we got here. What a main event we got for the first ever episode of Fight Night. And there's the suplex. Alright, now as he picks in Honey Payne back up. Going to Irish whip him into the turnbuckles. And there's the tag. Alright, here we go. Time for the finisher. It could be over after that neck breaker. Here's the pin. Who's down still in the ring to take Jordan East out I don't know, he quite doesn't there but he got him there so one two and no he kicks out even though uh, Jordan East got to the ring so the match still goes on and look at the suplex from Curtis Allen and now look at this he's going for his finisher could it be over after two finishers to Antonio Payne what is this gonna be takes him to the top a neck breaker. We haven't seen the individual finishers for the Republic, but there was one by Curtis Allen, and Jordan East gets in there to uh, keep his partner in this matchup. If he didn't, this match looked like it would have been over. And now Curtis Allen takes him over into the submission move, and this one probably could be it. Uh, Jordan, nope, he's not. Referee breaks the hold. I guess he got his feet on the ropes. Couldn't really tell there from the behind view. As look at this, Curtis Allen knocks him down with the kicks. I mean the punches right to the face and then there's Antonio Payne with a kick to get out of that one finally gets a tag to his tag team partner goes right into the Kimura lock just no he's not even phased by anything he just walks in the ring looking at everybody get his bitch in Kimura lock cheese and now he goes for the pin one two and Curtis I mean yeah and huge Allen saves the matchup for his team that that was insane Oh, he holds on to the kick there. What a move into that corkscrew leg takedown. And then there's the stomp right to the knee. There's another stomp. 
right to the knee as well. And a good, yeah, a third. I mean, that knee is probably busted right now. Jeez, man. And there's Joy Nice with a uh, reversal. Stays in this match. There's a stomp right to the back. As now he picks Curtis Allen back up. And El no, he does not go for the Kumar lock. Okay, goes for the arm bar instead. Is he going to tap out to this one? God, the arm. It's got to be phased after Joy Nice is in this match. And there's a punch to the back of the head. He gets him into a headlock. Goes for a another arm move to the arm. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. This could break the arm of Curtis Allen. Jeez. Here's the pin. One, two, three. Yeah. His arm might have just been broken there. There might have been no energy to kick out after that. Antonio Bang comes in, hits the German suplex to Huge Allen. The match is over. And I don't know. We probably need to go check on uh, Curtis Allen's arm after that. That was insane. What an insane main event for our first episode of Fight Night. There will be many more to come. What an episode. I uh, hope you guys really enjoyed this one. Uh, yeah, it's been great. It's been a great show to call for sure. We had Ryan, Ryan Kelly beat Andre Hernandez. And Andre Hernandez, I don't know what's wrong with the dude. He attacked Ryan Kelly after the matchup. We should have a statement by next episode. I don't know what's going through the head of Andre Hernandez, but uh, I guess he's sick and tired of losing, and he's taking the dirty way out. But uh, we had a main event, an epic main event between the Republic and the Chaos Club members on Antonio Payne and Jory Nice. And Antonio Payne and Jory Nice pick up the victory. Big win by the club. Could this give a momentum to the pay-per-view? Who knows with their big six-man matchup. Uh, but uh, like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you thought of the show in the comments below. And yeah, I am out. Thank you so much for watching.